Good afternoon. I'm Bobby Out, and I'm the Dare County Manager. Um, I'm looking out the window right now. We've got a little bit of a sprinkle and no wind. Um, that's going to change dramatically here over the next few days. I, I'm on now to tell you to please be mindful. Keep your eye on the weather channels. Keep an eye on our websites. Make sure your weather outlets, you know what's going on. We have a Category 4 storm that's going to hit uh, North Carolina. Probably hadn't had a Category 4 storm hit North Carolina since Hurricane Hazel back in the 50s. Um, this is a big deal. Uh, it's going to be a big deal down south where it's now projected to hit. And it's going to be a big deal for us up here because even if it stays on that track, uh, the wind, the direction of the wind, the size of the storm, the duration, all of those things are going to create problems for us up and down the Outer Banks uh, going into the weekend. Uh, if you have not made your preparations, you need to make them now. Uh, you need to get the things done that you need to get done. Uh, get your prescriptions filled. Uh, you know, have your evacuation plan ready. Uh, be moving out. Um, there may well be times over the next days uh, when this thing comes through that we will not be able to provide services, whether they're fire services, EMS services, or any of the other county services. So if you elect to stay and ignore the evacuation, then you may be putting you and your family at risk because you may be on, an, on your own for some period of time until conditions approve uh, where we can come out to respond. So please evacuate, please, please understand this is a, a, a storm that we haven't seen before. Um, even if the track goes uh, and it hits land where they now say it, it's gonna hit down south of us, um, it's going to bring impacts here. Uh, there's still some discussion at the Hurricane Center and the Weather Service about what it's going to do once it hits land. The track that it takes now that heads it towards Greenboro, Greensboro and Raleigh isn't certain. Uh, there's some possibility that it could hit land uh, and then turn to the north after it hits land, in which case we would be getting the effects of some wind and also some uh, drenching you know, 20 inches, some have said as many as 30 inches of rain. So the possibility for negative things happening here still exist. We are not out of the woods uh, and we urge you uh, to take all the measures you're, you're taking, keep an eye out, make sure you've got your evacuation plan. And if you have chosen to stay, then make sure you've got the things that you need. Uh, stores are closing, gas stations are closing, things are going to be closing and the time is running out for you to make those preparations. For anyone who wishes to evacuate but for whatever reason cannot, um, we will make transportation available to you. Um, if you need assistance, uh, we're gonna, there's a shelter open in Nightdale and we'll be transporting anyone that needs sheltering uh, to, to Nightdale. Uh, to go to Nightdale, you need to reserve a spot. You need to call 252-475-5640, 252-475-5640, or 252-475-5641. Again, 252-475-5641. You must reserve a spot. You, you've got to tell us if you're, if you're coming. Uh, so that we'll know to have enough vehicles and transportation available to transport you to the shelter. Uh, you have to call us before 5 o'clock today, Tuesday, uh, before 5 o'clock today, and you call the number to call is 252-475-5640, 252-475-5640, or 252-475-5641. Again, 252 Four seven five five six four one. You need to call us today, Tuesday, before five o'clock, so that we can make arrangements uh, for you uh, if you need to use the shelter and you need transportation. The buses will depart uh, the Outer Banks Visitor Center over in Manio uh, at 9:30 a.m. on Wednesday mornings, uh, September 12th, and will also leave from Hatteras Elementary School at 8 a.m. Uh, on Wednesday, September the 12th. Uh, these are pet friendly um, shelters. If you have your pet, you've got to have it secured in a kennel and you've got to have your documentation that shows it's been vaccinated and all that for the kennel, for the shelter to take the pet. So again, you got to have a kennel to put the pet in if you're going to take it and you got to have all your vaccinations and the um, documentation to show that 
before they'll take you there. When it's deemed safe for re-entry, uh, we'll come back and, and get you. So we'll bring everybody back uh, after Wednesday, whenever that is, and we don't know when that is. Um, so make sure, you know, if you're going to do that, that you plan for a, several days there because we have no idea how long uh, before we'll, we'll be allowing re-entry at this time. Um, if you have trouble getting to the two departure sites at Hatteras Elementary School or at the Visitor Center, when you make the call, let us know that too. Dare County Transportation will come and get you if you don't have transportation and transport you to the Visitor Center um, if we know about it. So you just have to let us know uh, and we'll take care of that. Um, for those of you making your final storm preparations uh, and doing the things out and about to secure your property and to leave, uh, you can enter and leave the county unrestricted today. Uh, you'll be able to leave during the day tomorrow, but at seven o'clock on Wednesday, uh, we will be uh, closing uh, the county and, and we will be not allowing any re-entry into the county uh, after seven o'clock uh, until the storm passes and it's deemed safe. Um, if you go on our website, darenc.com, and go to our emergency management page, um, you'll see the reentry procedures, and the reentry procedures will be followed following the storm, uh, and we'll be following those uh, as soon as it's deemed safe to come in. Um, so please be aware of those things. Um, and finally, you know, Dare County Emergency Operations Centers can be reached at 252-475-5655, 252-475-5655. We have a switchboard op open with call takers to, to take your call and try to answer your questions uh, if you use that number. And once again, www.darenc.com is our webpage, and that's got all the up to date information that we have on it and we update it as soon as we get that information every day. So uh, that will be current if you go to our webpage. Thank you and, and please evacuate and please be safe.